New Shigabari, death by old age. Lifespan is extended after living the last day as a senior. So, life, stamina, attack, and defense increased. Premature death, died as an adult. Dies as a senior, senior life expanded by a day. Death by an enemy for the first time. Okay, died while feeling guilty. Died while being the last survivor of a four-person party. Defense increased, died after overcoming trauma. Okay. So, Shigabani bonus or no Shigabani bonus? Well, it's worth the- it's absolutely worth the bonus. Okay, so... Stamina slightly increased. Person of Envy died without receiving any items during lifespan. Ah, stun point cost decreased. That's cool. Now let's go for the bonus. Why not? I mean, the more we pick up, the better. So now we're gonna have a bunch of children wandering around. Okay, so dying of old age seems like it was a good idea. I'll ha I might actually have to look up and see which one of these are... Like, if there are any that I specifically should get as soon as possible. But yeah, it does look like everybody's gonna get more expensive as we go along, too. Which might not be a big deal, but could be. As a senior... Well, at least that increases their lifespan by some amount. And we'll have to get them killed some other ways, too. And we've got more than enough points banked here that this isn't too big of an issue. I'm gonna try not to waste as much time in the future, but learning learning is good. Also, we should get a lot of extra points on a higher difficulty now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, died as a senior. And we're good. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of children rolling around, and they're all going to be the same age. I think in the future I'm going to want to spread out their skills a bit, but... Because if I remember it. right, there are bonuses it. for everybody being, uh, it. like, Does different levels. Okay. So Zen likes the axe. I'm not honestly not sure about the umbrella being any good. Let's see, if we go to sub-members. Do we have more equipment than this? I thought we did. Are... All of... Aha! I'll take it. Let's take this. So, a lot of the items got left behind. I get it. Give, 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 give. Okay, so if we go to the sub-members... He's good... I don't actually know who's good with what. Okay. But that gives me a little bit more options. So Sachika's gonna be tired. Uh, let's see. So, hey, <laughs> I, I more or less just sacrificed everybody, but everybody's stats went up as a result. So that this should help. I I don't know. That was probably gigantic and colossal, colossally wasteful. Uh, but I've learned some things. I should probably have been cooking the entire time too. That's the other thing I sh should probably remember to do. Okay. Well, we've got jerky or goat meat. It looks like we can also have everybody cook jerky. It smells great. That should do it. I seasoned it in my own and done. Let's make sure she can make the goat steaks. Mm, there, we're out of. I'm more of an eat. It turned out nicely. Smells. This is my favorite. How's this? Smells Let's great. See. And it's ready. Okay, so we can't cook anymore. Nobody has the cooking skills for this for the most part, but that's okay. We've ended up with a lot more food, Time to check the map. meaning we can go on we can go on trips. Pork steak, goat steak, goat steak. We also have a lot of jerky. I'm gonna carry that with me. Oh, we did get a uh, failed dish. That's that's okay. 
So options are we go back to the previous dungeon and try and go get that extra objective. Nah, we'll get that later. I was gonna say there's we did have that extra objective. Oh, I'm gonna carry this with me for pressure plates. So strengthener. Co coating used to strengthen weapons and armor must be used with caution. So we'll keep that in mind. Uh we might as well actually over strengthen some of our equipment while we're here. Uh let's see. Does anybody have any new yeah, I could get, like, Child Aptitude in a number of these characters, but... Nah. Don't know if it's worth it. Yeah. No, we'll leave it for a bit. So, craft item. Oh, craft weapon, armor, and materials. So I can make... Here's I can make craftsmanship. And I can also make some oil, about. which lets Let's me make some soap. Now. Nice and sturdy! So I can make a blackjack. There, we'll it's make done. one. Weapon made by attaching rope to a cloth filled with sand can be swung for devastating damage. It also has recharger, which is interesting. We can also make a cardboard hat, horn bandana, a get a tabby. There's let's get the get a tabby. Easier to wear now. So let's let's get two of these. Yes. Horn bandana, safe and secure, used like a helmet. This is well made. And then uh, I'm just gonna get one of all of these. I like it. Probably another horn bandana. There's also a cardboard apron, which requires more rope, but we can't. We don't have enough uh, vines for that. Okay. Either way, we have more equipment. Better equipment. So axe needs to be sharpened. I don't know what recharger is. Okay, we also have get a tabbies, which might still make noise. But it might make less. Can cure stench with the right know-how. Oh, okay. So we actually have to get the stench removal thing. Well, nobody is stressed out. Uh, let's see, if we switch to sub-members, I might as well equip them. It's not the best gear, but it's better than what I've got. Okay. And let's upgrade equipment. So I've got some decent stuff. We've got the plated gloves, which has power charge and transporter. Uh, you know what? Let's go back. Survival guide. Notes? Note one. This isn't li limited to Japanese, but the fastest way to learn another language is to speak it out loud. Of course, I had trouble at first with, like, with grammar rules and the differences between Dakuan and Han Dakuan. But all of that was trial and error. My older sister mastered Japanese before I did. I owe a lot to my, a lot of my Japanese proficiency to her correcting my mistakes time and time again. Thank you very much for the introduction. I'm Olga Belakor. I studied regenerative medicine for my postgraduate degree and mainly researched medical uses of cloning technology. I came to Japan when I began university, so this will be my ninth year living here. My favorite Japanese author is Haruki Murakami, and my favorite Japanese food is natto rolls. Thank you for having me. I hope to learn much under your guidance. I spoke clearly and fluently, then gave a deep bow. It was perfect. My grammar and intonation, as well as word usage and sense of humor, were flawless. None of the researchers I'd greeted before me, nor Dr. Terashima, smiling beside me, had noticed anything odd about my Japanese greeting. In fact, they seemed to be relieved, seeing there wouldn't be any communication issues with me moving forward. A new, hard-working, and honest researcher. It was clear to see I'd succeeded in planting that first impression of myself in their minds. But that first impression was a complete sham. I'm far from a hard-working and honest researcher. Hell, Olga Belakor isn't even my real name. I never studied regenerative medicine, and I took a single postgraduate course. There wasn't one single shred of truth in anything I told them. Sad spy sisters. A certain researcher's notes. I'll be escorting you from here. After greeting my new colleague, Dr. Terashima, showing me around the facilities. Dr. Terashima, full name Daichi Terashima. Although he's 61, he dyes his beard and long hair brown. But it didn't seem like he was trying too hard to make himself look younger. There's an interesting aura about him, as if that was his natural state of being. He's the director of Mashiro Technology, Nanotechnology Institute, also known as Manny. And is highly is a highly capable research researcher 
with Helm's operations here. So it is Mashiro. Nanotech. Oh, White Sands. Nanobots. Maybe? Despite his highest social standing, he gave no impression of being arrogant about his position. Showing a newcomer around the facilities was something usually done by someone of lower rank, but Dr. Terashima insisted he do it himself. Haven't you heard? It was scientifically proven that talking to a sexy woman is good for your brain. We walked around the many facilities with Dr. Terashima taking charge. People ask me sometimes, why would you make your research facility in the middle of the ocean? Well, what kind of question is that? The answer is obvious, because it's cool. Uh-huh. Making facilities in the ocean because it's cool. Was that his idea of a joke? Or perhaps it's a method of completely shutting out intruders and preserving sensitive information. Whatever the case, I'm at a loss for how to respond. And yet it didn't seem like the time to question him further, so I left it at that. It probably wasn't anything important anyway. The walls of Manny's underwater facilities are made of the acrylic glass in aquariums as we walk side by side with the fish watching us. Even though the man I was with is 61 years old, it felt like we were on a date in the aquarium. I wonder if Der Dr. Terashima felt the same way. Maybe this facility is reti retired someday. I'll have it repurposed into a new kind of aquarium. He said it out loud, feigning ignorance. This facility is retired? That would be when the research here achieves its end goal. Meaning, the clone research being conducted here would be implemented for everyday use. My mind was paralyzed by the magnitude of his flippancy. It's not because I'm too serious, and it's certainly not because I'm bothered by an old man's boastful talk. It's simply because it goes against my religious beliefs. This may be out of left field, but my country's religion strictly prohibits the development and use of cloning technology. Cloning is blasphemy. It's nothing more than an act of destruction against the way the world should be. So why would someone with my religious outlook join Mani as a researcher? Simple, really. To spy on them. To cast aside Mani's cloning technology and research into the shadows of history. Bury it, so it never existed. That's why I curated my background and was sent here, to Mani, completely undercover. XXX. Wow, this is a thing? Uh, well, see you later. Let me know if you have any questions. Dr. Terashima waved his hand and disappeared down the hallway. Thank you. I lowered my head and stared into the ground, then slowly exhaled. With the tour completed, my work for the day as a researcher was complete. All right. I decided to head towards my big sister's room as planned. My sister's been laying low in Mani as a researcher for a year now. Now that I think about it, it's been a whole year since I've seen her. She apparently had her hands full with a project she's working on. I didn't see her at the earlier meeting. I followed the mental map I'd memorized and headed to the dormitory area, then pressed the interphone button for her room. Coming. I could hear my sister's voice through the door. Her face appeared in the palm-sized monitor, her glowing porcelain skin and amber eyes that seemed to draw on anyone who looked into them. She's perfect, just as I remember her. Olga! One sec, I'm opening the door. She called my fake name with her angelic voice and hopped out of view of the monitor. The door opened soon after. Big sis! It's been a whole year since I've seen her in the flesh. She was really here. I had even dreamt of this day. I suppressed the urge to call her by her real name and leapt at her like an Olympian to embrace her. I've missed you so much. Ah! We both tumbled to the floor and I ended up sitting on top of her. She must have hit her head pretty hard, but she still smiled me ha smiled at me happily. Been a while, Olga. Her smile seemed to have forced the tears out of me. Ah. Tried holding it in, but I couldn't stop the pathetic whimper from leaking out. I shoved my face into my sister's chest in an attempt to hide it. Olga, where are you? I missed you. I truly, truly had. Whenever I faced hardships, I had always thought of my sister. Like during spy training, when I hadn't eaten or drunk for 72 hours and been unable to li lift a finger. Or when I had killed all the criminals in my motherland as part, of an assass as part of assassination training. Or when I had to offer my body over and over and over again to men many times older than me, who I had no feelings for. It must have been through so much. My sister stroked my hair, like it, she could see into my mind. And this, if to make up for all the time I couldn't spend with her, I cried for nearly an hour. This is still going. Wow. When I came to and lifted my head from her chest, she must have been tired from supporting my weight for an hour. I'll make us some tea. She smiled warmly and began brewing green tea. Thanks. As she handed me the cup of tea, she also gave me a piece of paper at the same time. There in her perfect handwriting was the following message in her native language. We don't have to worry about any cameras, but they may be listening in. We'll discuss that matter through written messages. Great to work, huh? To be honest, there was a part of me that wanted to have more personal time with her. But I had spent nearly an hour crying on top of my sister. I couldn't really say it was too early to start talking business. I took the pen and notebook from her without resisting. Understood, but first, can you tell me about your progress so far? We kept up a cas casual conversation out loud. Uh, she gave me details on the spy activities she's been doing for the past year. 
information we received beforehand regarding Mani's militarization of the clone technology was correct. I've succeeded in gathering data that can prove this. The information our country's officials had received was accurate then. Not only had Mani committed the grave sin of clone development, but they were thinking of using them for military purposes. There's only one thing for us to do. I looked into my sister's eyes, mentally conveying that thought to her. She gave a small nod without a word, then jotted down another sentence. As planned, we will massacre all the researchers here. Massacre. Seems like a heavy word, but what we're doing is a cleansing for the good of the world. A service to God. There's no reason to feel any guilt. Woo! Okay, so we learned some things there. We learned a lot of things there. Uh, let's see. And how many of those are there? There's eight total. So we found, oh yeah, we get one note, probably for every chapter. Makes sense. Wonder if, uh... I wonder if this whole thing is just nanotech then. The world isn't over, we're just out in the middle of the ocean. I could see that. Okay, well I'm gonna go save, and then we're gonna get those bonuses, and then we're gonna go adventuring. Because I'm not sure if we already have that bonus. If I do status, can I see? Burden, yeah. Switch category. Oh. Corrupt rate. Attack type, subtype, bonus effect. Bonus not active. Bond, profile, equipment. Oh. Can I see more info on these? Specifically, stylish? Recharger. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Dang. I was really hoping that I, I could actually see what equipment was like. Whoa, okay, well, let's, let's get that bunkmate bonus. So he is health up. And we'll get the crossover genes. Because, yeah, preventing certain status effects kind of nice. Oh, health up does not increase health. But hopefully these will offset the stamina cost. I hope. Let's let's see how much this right, hurts guys. stamina. <laughs> Behold my infantile body. That's creepy. Okay, so we get crossover genes. Good morning. Now let's see how tired they are. It's a Decent cost, but it probably it probably outweighs any negatives. Oops. It's done. Mm, looks tasty. I should probably get one point in cooking for all of them in the future. It's ready. Not bad. Okay, well, it's okay. We got a couple of failures. I can carry those around with me. Also in this topic. We should probably get rid of some of these things. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have a lot of jerky. I'm, I'm kind of trying to plan on us being out for a while. Now, nobody needs to go to the bathroom, and she's only mildly stressed. Hey! So I think what we're going to want to do is, yeah, just head out. And, yeah, that mapping bonus is already pretty obvious. Well, let's cross our fingers and hope the lizards don't kill me. That'd be bad. It'd be nice if we got to keep the the crossover effect semi-permanently. Right? Why was that there? Oh. Let's take this. Does our own island generate resources? We need this, right? Might actually. Maybe not many, but. I mean, there's a little bit at least. I'll have to keep an eye out for these things. Luckily, we don't lose any stamina walking around like this. And yeah, Let's we did need water bottles for a thing. I don't remember what things exactly require water bottles, but. Now that oh. we know we can get them, I'm I'm like, okay. I can't go there. I gotta double check just in case. Don't look like we've got any goats wandering the island either. 
I'll hold it. You think you'd actually be able to get just a stock of water bottles from the from the uh, t -t 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 the water tower behind behind us, but this, no right? dice. Yeah, goat horn too. Interesting. I'll hold it. So we can't go that way yet. I'm assuming there's eight empty gaps in this in this island. You know, on the on the map for each of the dungeons that we can go to. Okay, not seeing anything else here, but we might as well drop off those water bottles. What are you doing? Cool. I mean, mostly a giant time waste, but the more resources I can hoard, the better. So, not feeling like I'm I've been wasting too much time here, even though it probably was a colossal waste of time. Anywho, oh, the other thing is maybe weapons. If we're going to be out and about and we're going to be fighting for a while, yeah, let's upgrade. Definitely not the rusty fruit knife or any of these like really pieces, uh, really crappy pieces of equipment. Good. Stuff like the wooden sword, though. Yeah. Stronger. Success. How do you like that? Good stuff. I'm just gonna get everything kind of to plus two. Upgraded. Did it get stronger? And we'll get more of them in the future, and we can switch equipment around as we go. Okay. So now that I've wasted a bunch of e extra time, oh. We actually have run into, uh, we've actually run out of save slots. Good to know. That's fine. I mean, realistically, I should probably just do, eh. I like doing iterative saving because it makes, uh, makes it easier to go back if I make some kind of critical mistake. I realize it's like extra time management and yeah, just more than I have to manage, but it helps a lot. Okay, so the other thing to note is Sachika is tired. We're probably going to run Sachika in the next group or something. I'm not entirely sure. I can't go there. They won't get away. No more messing up. Okay. So we do have lizards here. And I've got a lot of food. Let's take this. Yeah. Okay, so it pretty much can't escape me. Yeah, that bonus is good. This is this is worth it. I'm probably gonna just head for the upstairs. I could fight things here. Stairs are over here. There it is. See if yeah. I can just bust it off. Perfect. Yeah. Let's take this. I don't necessarily have yeah. to, but it, it's good EXP. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, like I said, we've got enough food that we can pretty much just do this uh, as much as we need. There also was the thing about floor three having a shortcut to uh, floor two. Whoa. So that should be good. Carrying capacity might be an issue here, but that eh, it'll be fine. It'll age up after like a couple of days. My my! Another trap door. I wonder who put it, put it here. Zen, about the conquest video what? earlier. What? Hey now. You know this place, don't you? Why didn't you say anything back then? Considering what happened with Haruto, I already knew a Conquest video would be played. But until I saw it with my own eyes, I didn't actually believe my past would be on display like huh? that. Let me ask in return, why should well, I? Well, because... What do you think? In our current situation, every bit of information is precious. We're a team, so I think we should share what uh -huh. we know. A team, huh? Yeah, you're free to think of that if you want. But tr don't try and push your views onto me. I still can't say I completely trust Zen. everyone. Zen! Look. Especially Missy and the Bendam of M Mashiro, in particular. Huh. What? Huh? Me? Did I do something to upset you, Zen? <laughs> Come on, Zen. You're making it harder for us to no trust you, grief. too. Then I'll go alone from this point what? on. What? See? Arto got his past dug up in Ma Mashiro Garden Tower, right? Judging by how things are going, Sten TV is going to do the same thing to me. To be honest, I'm not keen on the idea of everyone seeing that. But it's too dangerous to go alone. Don't you remember we talked about this before? 
If no one's there to get your X key, we can't revive. Don't worry, officer. I'll get the machine part myself. You can all go back and have another barbecue or something. Zen. Zen, remember how you said there's a liar among us. I don't mean to throw it back at you, but it's not impossible for you to be that liar either. No. Considering that, I can't allow you to go off on your own. <laughs> can't allow it? Do you still think you're the leader or something? I'm not asking permission from you or anyone else. I'm only letting you know what I'm work that I'm working Wait. solo now. Wait a minute. You don't have to be with all of us, but at least take be someone quiet. with. I told you no. Unlike you, I'm not having. I'm not into having strangers gawking in my past. Oh no! You didn't have to say it like that. Oh, grief. Don't follow me. I wouldn't want to mistake you for prey and hunt you on accident. Yeah. Zen. Decided to go forth alone. Nice going, Zen. Real smart. Oh. We got a rusty saw. Okay. Dulled with rust. Maybe if it's sharpened with something. Does a decent amount of damage. It's a good thing he is the purveyor of all... Hello. I probably shouldn't explore too much without anybody else. Mirai, finding videos is my job. Oh, sorry, did it bother you? I have my pride as an assistant, you know. I demand an explanation. Well, we were told to cut your intros whenever you find new videos because we got complaints. Oh, okay, fair enough. Then let's cut that stuff out from now on. Wow, you got over that real fast. It's showtime! It's already been a year since I began living here. I made some friends and it's been fun helping with farm work. I'm glad I moved here. I think the country suits me. But why did we move here in the first place again? Zen, if you're hungry, would you mind going to get your mother? You mean at the treehouse? Yeah, she said she had to work overtime, but it's getting late. Have you called her? Yes, but she didn't answer. She may be walking around outside. I can go myself, but there's someone else I, somewhere else I need to be. Your brother's still at school, and Grandma hasn't been well lately. Now that I think about it, I wonder where Grandpa is. I didn't see him at the farm. Okay, I'll go get her. Thanks, Zen. Be careful. Monkeys. There are monkeys in there. They look just like Mom and Grandpa. Uh... What do you think? Just like before, eh? I need to get home now. We're not done yet. You wouldn't have to meet. You want? You wouldn't want me to tell my son Zen. Uh, tell my son Zen isn't his child, would you? No, please. Zen is our child. He isn't your husband's son, but his younger brother. How could you? You promised we were done. <laughs> I suppose I've grown more attached to my son in the past ten years. Huh? Did a monkey get in here again? Ooh, boy. Um. That went from homie to holy moly. <laughs> hey, Mirai. Oh, should we lop off my head and wrap this up? No, I mean, do you hear something? That screeching. Like, bleh. It sounds more like hoo, 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 to me. Maybe real monkeys got drawn here because we played that video? This sounds bad. We need to run away right now. Buy some time for me. I'll do everything in my power to get away. 
Leave it to me. I'll be the bait and... Huh? What do you mean? No! I'll avenge you, Mirai! My heart is beating loudly. The old TV which played the annoying program had turned into an old piece of garbage. I'm losing my temper and taking my anger out on things. This isn't like me. Where is it? Maybe that's the sort of person I've always been. Damn it. God. These monkeys really are beginning to gather here. In a fight, you have to avoid facing multiple adversaries at once. This still applies when facing animals. The basic rule of survival I picked well, up along the way. Be at a disadvantage in this spot. I should keep moving. My chest is still beating intensely. Hoping to neutralize it somehow, I stomped the ground hard, hard as I left the scene. <laughs> 